In this Excel video, I will show you five Excel navigation and selection tips. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet with some fictional employees listed here and some information about them. And there are about a hundred records here. And so it's going to take me a while sometimes to navigate around, maybe jump down to the bottom of the data where I know there's some information I need or jump back up to the top or even the left or right of this range or data region. So how could I do that quickly? If I hold the control key on the keyboard and tap the down arrow, Excel jumps me down to the very bottom of the data data section. Hold control and tap the up arrow and I'm taken to the very top. What about left and right? Control left takes me to the left edge of the data and control right takes me to the right edge of the data. So using these four arrow keys along with the control key, I can quickly jump up, down, left, right in my data. So that's tip number one. Tip number two has to do with filters. And this will help us to be able to select data and see data that we want to see or select. So there are several ways to turn on filters, but the easiest way is just to click anywhere in the row in which you want filters to appear. Hold the control key, hold the shift key, and tap L. When you do that, the filters are applied. You can see these buttons here allow you to filter out information. So what if I want to see only the IT department and the operations department. Click OK and all of the other information is filtered out. It's still there, you just can't see it. It's being hidden. So I could click here to select all, click OK, and everything comes back. Now, what if I want to quickly remove the filters? Again, just click anywhere in the row, hold Control, hold Shift, tap L, and they're removed. So Control Shift L is a toggle. I can toggle the filters on, I can toggle them off. Tip number three, this is another navigation tip, and what it does is it helps you cycle through the corners of a selected range. So the upper left corner, upper right, lower right, lower left. How can I do that? First, I need to click and drag to select the range, and it doesn't have to be all of your data, it could just be a portion of the data, but I'm just gonna click and drag to highlight all of my data in this spreadsheet. Now that it's all highlighted or selected, I'll hold the control key and tap the period button. So I've cycled now to the upper right corner of my selected data. Control period again. Now I'm lower right. Again, lower left. Again, upper left. And so you can very quickly cycle around each corner of your selected data. Tip number four, highlight blank cells in a selected range. To show this, I'm going to click and delete some of the data in my spreadsheet so that there are some blanks. Next, I'm going to click and drag to select the range that I want to look for blanks in, and then I'll tap the F5 button on the keyboard. Now for me, on a laptop, I had to hold the function key and tap F5, but on your computer it may be different. Next, I'll go to Special, choose Blanks, click OK, and I'm taken to a blank cell in my spreadsheet. Not only that, but the other blanks are also highlighted. If I tap Tab, I'm taken to each one in turn. Tip number five is all about the name box and using the name box for navigation. Some of you may know that you can name a range or a cell just by clicking on it and then going here to the name box and overwriting what's already there. So right now it just says B1, but I could just name this cell name. And from now on, when I click on it, here in the upper left, it says name. Now that's useful. If you wanna learn why and how, watch my other videos that address the name box. But for now, I'm gonna click on the name box and instead of naming something I'm just gonna type in a cell reference any column and row combination how about B5000 tap enter and look what happens the name box actually takes me to the cell that I've described here in the name box B5000 now it's gonna take me a while to get back to A1 or maybe it won't I'll just go here to the name box type A1 tap enter boom that fast I am back in the upper left corner of my spreadsheet okay what about E59 tap enter and there I am so I hope you've enjoyed learning each of these five Excel navigation and selection tips 
Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll find more information about those options in the description below the video. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you would share this video with others that you think could benefit from it. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my my fantastic super techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for what you do to support the channel. I couldn't do this without your help.